Good morning, guys. Lonnie, real alcoholic. Okay, we went through our fourth column. We said a forgiveness prayer, a sick man's prayer for all of these people in these situations. Okay, we avoid retaliation or argument. Okay, some of us still live with or have contact with these people we have resentments against. We avoid, we avoid retaliation or argument. We cannot afford it. That is not our job. We are not well equipped for that. All right, we're going to start sweeping our side of the street clean. And we are going to treat these people as sick people, just like us. And we're going to give them as much patience, tolerance, and pity as we can. Okay, referring to our list again, let's get into column five. Putting out of our minds the wrongs others had done, we resolutely look for our own mistakes. Where had we been selfish, dishonest, self-seeking, or frightened? Once again, guys, they are not listing all 100 forms of selfishness. Our selfish, self-seeking behavior, remember, page 62, is driven by a hundred forms. All right, we go to the story, he sold himself short. We can find some character defects there. We can go to page 48 of the 12 and 12. We find some character defects there. Any of you guys need me to send you another character defect list? I surely will. But all my sponsees get a character defect list before we get into this column five. We are not going to look at all 100 forms. We're going to use about 20 something of them. Okay. Because we just want to see how this process works. We want to get down to causes and conditions. Okay. <clears throat> Though a situation had not been entirely our fault, we tried to disregard the other person involved entirely. Where were we to blame? The inventory was ours, not the other man's. When we saw our faults, our character defect, we listed them. So we're making a list. We're not writing an autobiography. We're just making a list. We placed them before us in black and white. We admitted our wrongs honestly and were willing to set these matters straight. So let's get into this fifth column. All right. So we talked about this predator, man. I got a good idea of what's going on there. And what happened was, was, was I can see that this situation, all right, affected my basic God-given rights, my instincts that I was born with. And when those got affected, when those got threatened, when those were interfered with, I got fearful. I wanted to fix this, Okay. The only way I knew to fix it was I would jump into a character defect. I did not know the proper way to go about getting these instincts fulfilled. And so like a drowning man, I, I just grabbed for anything, man. I grabbed for any emotion. I grabbed for any behavior that I thought would work. And so with this predator, was I angry? you damn right. <clears throat> After the fact, I was angry. Was I dishonest? Yes, I was dishonest. Was I negative? Yes, I was negative towards my parents. I was wondering why, why, why they didn't stop this from happening. Was I lustful? Yes, after the fact. Man, I started act acting out sexually real bad. I had got that feeling. It felt good. And I was confused. I didn't know how to handle these, these lustful feelings, these sexual feelings. Did I lie? Of course I lied. People ask me, man, I started going to counseling at a young age. And I tell them point blank, no, nothing like that ever happened to me. When, as a matter of fact, man, it happened often. That wasn't the only time uh, a molestation occurred. So I lied about it. All right. Self-pity. Yes, I was in self-pity. How could that happen to me? Why, why, was it, why was it continuing to happen? So in this situation, 
we've forgiven this person. And I can see that after the fact, my character defects. And these are just examples, guys. We're going to go through that list um, with, e with each, each sponsee. We're going to go through the list and ask them, were you prideful? Were you envious? Were you greedy? Were you angry? Were you slothful? Were you negative? Right? We'll go through that list. And when, we, when they see their fault, they're going to write down that specific character defect. And that's what we're looking for. Let's go to the next one. <clears throat> All right. This rapist went over it with my sponsor. He's got a good idea of what's going on. Okay, once again, my instincts were threatened. I got into fear. Because of that fear, I started exhibiting some character defects. Okay, let's go through this. Was I prideful? Yeah, I was prideful. I was I had left home before um a couple years before this happened. I was barely the age of 16 and and I'm thinking I'm a big man, I'm a big baller. I got jobs. I'm hanging out with, with some with some adults, right? Yeah, I was prideful. Was I envious? Yeah, I was envious of the adults I was hanging out with. I wanted to be part of them. I, I wanted their uh, success. I wanted their, their houses, their cars, their relationships. Yeah, I was envious. Was I greedy? Yeah, I was greedy. I wasn't satisfied with... with Going to this particular situation, I was with some people. I, I had a nighttime job at a pizza place. <clears throat> and so I was gonna I was going to uh, schmooze my way in that if I partied with the managers, right, I was gonna get a better better uh, position. I was gonna get a raise. Maybe I could be a manager, right? So yeah, I was greedy. Angry? Hell yeah, I was angry before the event. I was angry after. Lust. Yep. Let me tell you about some lust, guys. The lust got me in that situation. I was lustful thinking we were going to the party and I was going to hook up with a woman after the party. I sat there and drank more than I should, um, did more drugs than I should, um, thinking somebody else was going to pay for it. But I'm all about the party. I'm fixing to go get me some, right? So we're cutting up. We're having a good time. And the waiter that paid for it um, invited me to an after party. So once again, my lust is thinking, all right, we're going to the after party. It's getting good now. I'm going to get me one of these girls, right? I got there. There were no women. Okay, so my lust before the event got me in that event. We made decisions based on self that placed us in a position to be hurt. And in this situation with this person, yes, I placed myself in a position to be hurt. I had to accept that. I had to see that my lust got me there. Gluttony. Yeah, I was drinking way too much. Was I critical? Yes, I was critical of every homosexual after that. Was I careless? Yeah, I was careless, man. I, um, I'm not even 16. I'm living on my own already for a couple years. Was I dishonest? Once again, yes, I was dishonest. When the subject came up, I skirted the issue. Even when I did try to get honest, I never told anybody the whole truth. Of course, I was in negative thinking, man. This, this brainstorm, this this constant mindset of remembering this event and wanting to get even with somebody, this resentment had me negative. I was negative towards, uh, towards homosexual people for years. Self-pity. Of course, there was some self-pity. Why did this happen to me? Self-delusion. Now, the self-delusion came in where I could not see my fault. I could not accept my fault. Uh, this self-delusion came in thinking that um, I'm a big man. I, I can party like these people and I can I can uh, um, do the adult thing, right? That was my self-delusion. And of course, there was some anger. <clears throat> so when we see our faults, 
we list them. Okay, let's go to the next one. I'm going fast, guys. I don't want to run out of time. Second wife. We've talked about this second wife. Once again, I had some personal instincts that got threatened. And I jumped into some fear. So how did I exhibit pride? And this is what I ask uh, sponsees. Let's go through the list. Were you prideful in any way towards this situation or this person? Yeah, I was prideful. I'm full-time in college. I'm working two jobs. And I think I can take care of a lady that already has a herd of kids. Right? So I go through the list. Were you envious? Were you greedy? Were you angry? Were you slothful? Did you have any lust? Yeah, I had some lust, man. That was a big one. Um, looking back, I can see that it was my lustful behavior once again that got me into that situation. Um, there, there's a person I know that for 20 some odd years, they stayed in a relapse because of this lust right here. They intentionally got somebody pregnant so that that person would stay with them it turned into a miserable relationship. This person ended up relapsing and they stayed in the relapse because they could not see what went wrong in this relationship. And when they finally saw that because of their lust, it placed them in a position to be hurt. So everything that happened after, after he got this person pregnant, all right, everything that happened after that Pretty much, pretty much, um, you can't blame anybody for it, right? We should have never been in that situation in the first place. So how are you, how are we going to put ourselves in a bad situation and expect it to turn out good? How are we going to make a decision based on self, based on one of these character defects and expect it to come out good? It never does. Okay, was, that, was there some self-justifying in this relationship? Yes. Okay, write it down. Was there some intolerance? Yes. Write it down. <clears throat> we'll go through our list. Was there some insincerity? Yes. Write it down. Impatience? Yes. Write it down. Okay, so we go through these. And what I'm going to do is, mo for in the beginning, okay, each and every one they write down, I'm going to ask them to tell me, how did you self-justify? And they're going to tell me, how were you intolerant? They're going to tell me, how were you insincere? They're going to tell me, how were you impatient? They're going to tell me, okay? <clears throat> I want these people to get a good idea. This is what we're after. In my mind, I want to see what my pride looks like. I want to see what my anger looks like. I want to see what my critical thinking looks like. I want to see what my self-delusion looks like. Okay? My self-pity. Because from one person to the next, these can take on different manifestations. We can, we can exhibit these behaviors in different ways. So it's important for each individual <clears throat> to get a clear mental picture of what these character defects look like in their lives. Okay, let's go to God real quick. <clears throat> All right, so I was angry with God. A bunch of things were happening. My, my instincts were threatened. All right. So were you ever prideful with God? Yes, I was prideful. I thought, I thought, I knew what this universe was about. I thought I knew how it should run. And it sure wasn't going, this world sure wasn't going the way I knew it should go. Yeah, I was prideful. Was I ever dishonest? How can I be dishonest with God? Yes, I was dishonest. I never sat there and had a heart-to-heart -heart with the spirit of the universe. 
I never sat there and had a heart to heart with another person about the spirit of the universe. So yeah, I was dishonest. I never told I never told somebody my exact thoughts on God. I was dishonest. Did I ever self-justify with God? I sure did. I could exhibit all these immoral behaviors and all these fucked up behaviors because God did nothing for me. So I would self-justify my actions. Was I ever insincere? Yes. I never made a full wholehearted attempt uh, to try to seek or gain any understanding about this God. I was insincere. When I did, it was half-ass attempts, hoping that my life would change, the cars, the jobs, the relationships, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I wasn't looking for a relationship. I was looking for, for good things to happen. Did my lustful behavior affect my relationship with God? Yeah, it did. It kept me away from seeking God for a long time because I had this... I had this thought, I had this uh, imagination that, man, if I got close to God, I'm not going to be able to have sex the way I want, how I want, when I want. God might put some limitations on my sexual behaviors. So yeah, my lust affected my relationship with God, kept me away from God for a, a long time. Was I ever impatient? Yep. The few times I tried to pray... It seemed like it wasn't working. So why pray? God's not hearing my prayer. I was impatient. I wanted it now. I wanted things to change. I wanted it now. So my gluttony. Yeah, man. I mean, when you're when you're high and drinking and, and fucking doing dope, um, that kind of affects your relationship with God. <laughs> I mean, he loves us anyway while we're doing that, but um, it affects our relationship, no doubt. So what we're seeing, guys, through all of this is we're seeing how we are going to take our list, all right? We got a list of character defects. We're going to go through about 20 defects with our sponsees. Ask them in each situation, were you prideful? Were you envious? Now, pride, we're talking about some false pride, okay? This false estimation of oneself. Were you envious? Were you greedy? Were you angry, slothful, lustful, gluttony, critical? Did you exhibit careless behavior in this relationship? Dishonest? Did you gossip? Were you negative? All right, we're going to go through that list. And... And we're going to try to help our people see where these character defects were manifesting themselves. Because self manifested in various ways was what had defeated us. This fifth column, this is what had defeated us. This is why we could never find peace and comfort with our fellow man or with God. How can we have peace and comfort in these relationships or with other people, friends, families, co-workers, all right? If I'm exhibiting prideful, envy, greed, anger, lust, gluttony, if I'm critical, if I'm careless, if I'm dishonest, if I'm negative, if I got self-pity, if I got self-delusion, if I got anger, if I'm insincere, impatient, jealous, how can I have relationships with people if, if this is my character, if this is what I'm exhibiting, <clears throat> a life based on these character defects, and we did it unknowingly, guys. We're not sitting here trying to beat ourselves up, okay? But now that we know, now we got something to work with. Now we can move forward. So our character defects are our faults. And it's most important that I see what my anger looks like. 
I'm not going to tell somebody what their anger looks like. They know. My anger might be, I might throw shit. Another person can get angry and they don't throw stuff. But it's the still the same anger. It just manifests itself in a different way. Okay, so I hope that made the point clear. I'm about out of time. Um, so we do our fifth column. Our character defects. That's the causes and conditions. That's what caused our problems was our character defects. And those are the things we're going to ask God in, in 6 and 7. Um, we're going to ask God to remove those when we get to that point. Okay, next we're going to do the the uh, uh, second part of our inventory, which is a fear inventory. And when we get to fear, we're going to we're going to see a little bit more about us jumping into this fear and why we exhibited these character defects to fix this instinct that was being threatened. Hopefully, we see that in the next uh, in the next segment. All right, guys. Uh, God bless. Take it easy. And talk to you later. Bye.